Hey guys and gals, I know what you're thinking. There's a big green wall behind me and I still look like crap, yet I've changed my clothes. Yes, it is the next day uh, from the last video that I made. Uh, it is about, what time is it? It's quarter past nine in the morning. Um, and I thought I would do a video, as promised, on the green screen. So that is why I'm very big and I'm still a bit fuzzy around the edges, but you know, We'll get there, we'll get there. Um, I have perfected, well I say perfected, I've, I've got the best sort of match I can possible for the Guild Wars videos, um, but for a full on, wow Coops, you have a huge head. Uh, <laughs> um, we're still working on that, but I, I won't be using this very often. I basically wanted to go through how I have done my green screen, uh, just for you guys. The last time I did a green screen uh, video, um, there was there was a few comments uh, that I got saying wow everyone should watch this and everything so I, I just thought I'd update you so if you haven't seen that one previously when I lived with Mummy Dearest um, I basically got a green washing line and a green cloth um, the washing line was from just a, a retail store called B&M it was about a quid um, a, a pound a dollar a, a yen a, whatever. So anyway, I got that and then I got a screen from Amazon which was just basically a screen that I did try to iron and it melted. So yeah, that was awkward. Uh, <laughs> but basically what I did is I got some ball clips um, and I just clipped it onto the washing line and hung it behind me so I could just pull it backwards and forwards. Um, and then you just do a, a match on the colour. Now it wasn't ideal, um, if you go back and watch some of my other videos you'll notice that on the odd occasion it starts going a bit all like there's a ghost behind me. Uh, there wasn't a ghost behind me, well I hope there wasn't, that would have been fucking freaky as shit. Um, but yeah, um, it's basically because the screen, if it moved it had like creases in it so it was really hard to get the colour balance, but since me and Nix have now got our own house, I was able to get <coughs> this. It is green paint, and as you see, look, if you look on the green screen, it's invisible! It's, it's, I just, mind blown. This is the paint that I used. Um, I went to uh, B&Q, uh, Bender and Queer, as I like to call it. Um, and it's called Kensington Gardens. So for any of you who want a suitable colour that you know will work, there you go, proof is in the pudding, I've got a splatter on there, look. You see on both videos, there you go. Um, it does work. So, I do just want to tell you about green screen though. Um, any colour will work. So you can have red, blue, purple, orange, and all the other colours that are in um, Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So, yeah. So basically, any colour will work as long as you do not wear the same colour or it's not too skin coloured or hair coloured. You know, black, probably not a great colour to go with because it's black. Um, same goes for white, probably wouldn't use white. They're shades, they are not colours. Technically speaking, not that I'm an artist or anything. <laughs> anyway, so so that is, you know, you can do any colour, and um, I will flick to my computer screen and show you basically how you can set it up in OBS, which is what I use to record all my videos. Um, I use a separate program to record the sound just purely because OBS is fantastic but I use it to record the game sound not my voice because if you try to put them together syncing it all up it's like oh it's a bloody nightmare so I basically record my sound separately and then I can move the sound as I see fit for my speech and everything, so it just makes life a lot easier, especially when the sound level is like we, in Guild Wars, the sound levels are just so like the speech is at this level, but you know, you, you use your meteor shower and it's like, ah! you're like, Jesus, so it sounds so overpowering. It's just best to go with 
a separate sound file, then you can turn yourself up, the game sound down, whereas if it's all one file, you're either up or you're down. So, um, I will show you all this on my computer anyway. I use uh, Adobe Audition, um, and I use my microphone for that. So I'm going to pick you up now, it's going to be really awkward. Um, showing you my double chin, double chin going on. Uh, so I'll show you all that, um, and I'll, I'll even show you around the study, which is where me and Nick's are. Obviously, before you knew he was behind me, now he's in front of me because he can't be behind me. There's, there's a wall, so I may have the neighbours knocking back in a second. I do apologise. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pick the phone up. So as you see, my little. Uh, that, that's where I put masking tape on, and when I took it off, it kind of took some of the paint with it, because, you know. Oh, look, you can see my phone. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around, and now you can see my microphone. I can actually see it in the record. This is, this is genius. I should do this more often. This is great. So this is my, this is a pop shield. So when you come to recording, if you ever turn towards your microphone and use a P, it doesn't go on the on the microphone and you don't get that horrible sound, you know. So you use your pop shield and that will prevent any horrible poppy noises. Um, it is on a, oh god I can't see, it is on, there you go, this thing, which just means I can move it around as I see fit, up and down, left and right, I can just move it around, I'm going to have to readjust that now. Things I do for you guys, I'm going to have to readjust it damn son. Um, but my microphone is a blue snowball, which just so happens to be black. So, yeah. So, <laughs> it is a blue snowball. Um, cost me about 80 quid from Amazon way back when, when I bought it. And the camera I use, if I can show you that, there it is. It is a, a Logitech, uh, I can't remember the model, but it's a Logitech one. It does come with a built-in microphone and everything, but I do not use it. Because it sounds very uh, echoey and, and, and whatnot. So that's why I don't use it. So um, if I stand this up and... Ah, shit, that's my knee. God damn. <laughs> if I stand this up can see over here, this is Nix's station. Yes, we did have the cleaning equipment out. So yeah, we'll just put that down there. Um, this is our lovely 100 pound printer because we do so much printing, we, we actually don't. Um, yes, Nix plays on a laptop. Would you believe it? No, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it myself. Yes, he plays on a laptop, um, which is, which is uh, yeah, lovely. Um, and then we've got our nerd station over here. Still a few boxes to get rid of, not gonna lie. Gotta get rid of them. Um, we're still unpacking, we're still trying to put stuff together, but this is our nerd station. It's got all our like Game of Thrones and retro PS2. There's even, if I shimmy these boxes out of the way, there's even, look, there's a, there's a PlayStation 1 with the Final Fantasy games. I mean, what is that all about? And you got this, you know, your PSP and, and, and your that thing and Star Wars and Nix's Batman and Superman on the walls and God, it's it's a real nerd fest in here. I'm not gonna lie, a real nerd fest. So yeah, uh, the only other thing you'll need to watch out for in green screen um, is one consistent lighting and two consistent lighting. Okay, so. <laughs> So basically, consistent lighting, oh god, yeah, look at that, oh, bright light. Um, I'm using a white bulb, white, white, not warm, glow, sun, one, white. And why white? Well, because if you get one of these warm lights, um, I have them all around the house, but if you get a warm light, basically... It will change the colour of your green screen, and because they generally warm up over time, um, if you turn it on and start recording straight away, it will basically change the colour. So you'll have to keep adjusting your settings in OBS, and that's a real ball ache. You don't want that, you just want to go with a white bulb, 
Energy savings always good as long as it literally comes on and it's that bright constantly. You need consistent lighting, otherwise you're gonna have to keep changing your settings and like I say, it's a real ball ache. The only other thing is blackout curtains, which I put up yesterday. I am going to be Velcroing them, okay? Just that, that bit just there, that, that won't be there, it's gonna be Velcroed. I did it on purpose so I can add in the Velcro later. Um, and there will be some Velcro on the wall because yesterday, before I started recording, there was some goddamn sunlight coming through it. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you? And I had on the on my uh, on my video down this side here, uh, just there. Look, it was like a big beam of light. So it was just white, and it was like, damn sun. So yeah, that was really really annoying. So I had to use a katana. Believe it or not, a katana to push up against the curtain so it blocked out the light, and then I could begin recording. So it is a work in progress. Green screen can be an absolute bitch. If you look at it now, you see down here I've got like fuzziness, fuzzy fuzziness, it's all fuzzy. So yeah, it can be an absolute bitch to work with. So just make sure you do get your consistent lighting, block out the sun, sorry, block out the sun. <laughs> Fucker. Block out the sun as much as you possibly can um, with blackout curtains. You can pick them up from any sort of retail store. Like again, B and M is where I got mine. Uh, you can you could probably get them from B and Q, any sort of home furnishing store, Wix's, or you know you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, as I say, the paint I got it especially mixed, um, and you get it mixed. Uh, I got it mixed at B and Q. And you just basically pick a colour and they mix it up for you. It's fabulous. You know, you can you can even take a picture. Um, ideally, what you would want is a solid green. So hex colour. Oh God. Zero uh, zero F F zero zero. Green. Very very green. Um, that's ideally what you'd want. Although I didn't have that colour on me. Actually getting that colour, so going to someone in B&Q and saying, Can you do me hex colour 00FF00? And they look at you like... So, uh... Because they're not, they're not the brightest sparks, you know. I No offence to anyone who works at b and I have the utmost respect for you. I used to work at Focus DIY, and I loved every second of it. So, yeah. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to show you settings and stuff on OBS. So we'll go into that right about now. Okay, so I am back and I'm using this blue snowball now to <laughs> record the sound because that's just what I do. I like to mix it up a bit. Okay, so here is the screen. This is what I look like. So now I'm now going to yeah yeah. I'm now going to change to watching my screen. Uh, ah. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, OBS is recording. OBS, that's kind of awkward, so I'm just going to uh, um, minimise that as much as possible. There we go. Now you can see <laughs> Audition running in the background is always good. So you can see my voice going whoop, 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 flickering and everything. So that's, at least we know that's working. At least we know that's switched on because how many times do I switch that off? all the time. Um, okay, so you want to add yourself in um, a camera for your OBS settings, so um, video capture device is what you will be wanting, and you can call it whatever you like. Um, I'm going to, without like smashing my keyboard, this guy, yes I'm that guy, this guy. Okay, and then you can set your chroma key color, so you can use your chroma key here, and you can set that up. I'm just gonna click OK for now. There I am, look, hello, wow, look how bad it looks. And this is with white, so, wow. Um, you can obviously move it up and down, you can edit your size, which is what I do, so I've edited my size, I put myself down there in game, and I add, um, I add in an image behind myself, which is obviously the game slobs logo thing, which, as long as you keep it in proportion of, uh, 1080 by 1920, 1920, 1080, whatever. As long as you keep it in proportion, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I always use that purely to cover up my guild chat because 
privacy and all that, you know? Uh, so I'm going to just uh, edit the scene again, and I'm going to go whoop, and there you go, I'm big again, but I look absolutely horrendous. So what I would do, why is my mic that side? That's weird, I'm reversed. Okay, let's go with this. I'm just going to go with this. It's fine. It's fine. So you once you're set up, you want to go into your properties, and there's two ways you can do it with your chroma key. Um, this is the way I do it, so you select your color. Bang, there you go, there's a colour selected. Yeah, it doesn't look great. So you can go back and select a different colour and just keep playing around with it until you find a good colour that's, you know, the majority of the wall. I would probably go with, like, either the lightest or the darkest colour that you can get your fingers on. Um, and then tweak from there. Um, it looks like this area. You can tell because, like, the most... It'll be the most blobby area that that you're looking for. So probably around here. There you go. Um, the closer to yourself you can get, the better, because obviously that's the colour that will be sort of around you, and that's that's ideally what you're aiming for. So once you've got that, then you can set your blend and your similarity. So similarity I normally set to around about 200, maybe not. So let's go for 150. There you go. We're starting to come into focus now, maybe one, two, five, there you go. That's looking half decent, isn't it? You know, you can see me, but not the background, and there's no sort of flashing stars in the background, so um, I tend to take this still reduction, uh, spill reduction to zero. Um, you can turn it up, um, I'll just show you what that does. You, the more you turn it up, the more you turn Good, isn't it? So that's why I tend to just have it. Of course, I was very drunk at the time. So anyway, um, and this one, just whatever, it's a blend. So the more you blend it, the more you disappear. So there you go. So I'll tend to have that quite low. Just It just takes the harshness and like the green flecks out of your hair and from around you. You know, when you've got a game running in the background or you've got a picture in the background, it's not so bad because you can't really notice the green around you too much and especially when you're a lot smaller so when you've got your, your scene you know, down in this corner here it's a lot less like in your face so there you go, so about 125 on blend, 65 and the colour is here, your RGB is here so 68, 150, 115 and it's looking pretty good so obviously you just play the game, you test it a little bit, you, you'll always have this, um, there you go, it starts going flickery, and that's because I'm casting a shadow on it, so that's why the colour is changing, um, so it casts a shadow and it starts to create flecks, so obviously I don't recommend you do a lot of this, because you're casting a shadow, <laughs> ideally what you should do is have uh, make sure your green screen is lit properly by having, I don't know, some, get some of those LED lights that you can just stick, like the LED strips, you can just stick all the way around the wall, have them bright green, you can get some that change colour, I, I know they sell them at B&M, god this is like a total plug for B&M, I'm not being paid for this but wow, technically I am because I work there but shh. <laughs> <laughs> I I work there. I don't get paid to advertise them, so it's just, it's just um. But yeah, you can get them from there, and you can just you could literally stick it all the way around the edge. In in my previous dwelling, um, I actually had a, a standing light, one of those ones that you can you know it's got a dimmer on it, um, and that that just kept it consistently lit. So that's what I used for that. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it for green screen. It can be a bitch, but if you can get it working, I think it's well worth it. Um, just purely because it adds that personal touch. You can actually show yourself on camera. I'm looking at you, wooden potatoes. Show yourself. Stop hiding. What are you hiding? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. You're hiding something. <sighs> anyway, so... <laughs> So yeah, um, it just gives that personal touch. You can show yourself, you can express yourself through your facial expressions and your hands. I'm really hands-on today. Not quite sure why, 
a little bit creepy. But yeah, I'm talking with my hands today, okay? Just just deal with it, okay? So <laughs> God, how much fun can you have with yourself just sitting on a camera talking to people who aren't gonna watch this video? Damn, son, damn. Anyway, that's enough from me. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in my crotch below, um, and I will take a look at that later. <laughs> The comments, not my crotch. Well, maybe a bit of both. But <laughs> kidding you? I'm not kidding. I'm really not kidding. So anyway, um, yeah. Once you're done with that, you can just you can just carry on. Um, I strongly recommend you use uh, the hotkeys. Um, oh, hello. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I probably should have pressed OK on that one. So, wow, I've got black eyes. Um, yeah, you can have a lot of fun with green screen. So yeah, once once that's all done and dusted, um, just set up a hotkey. Mine is Control F10. So if at the end of videos you see me looking down, you know, I'm like, ta ta, and then I look down, like, <laughs> it's because I'm pressing Control F10. <laughs> there you go. So that that's uh, that's the behind the scenes of Game Slobs. Anyway, um. <clears throat> Still got a bit of bronchitis. So if you if you hear me coughing or anything, bronchitis. It's great fun. It's great fun. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you very very much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and share this video for anyone who wants to start up YouTube but doesn't know how to do green screen. Uh, there are many ways to do it. But like I say, if you need me to run down any way that that could work for you, leave it in the uh, the crotch below, and I will get back to you as soon as I humanly possibly can because I'm that soddy nice. I know, right? I love you all with affections unspeakable. Goodbye. Oh yeah, this is the part where I press Control F10.